Mule deer are often regarded as the deer of the West and are one of the most iconic animals in Western North America. Please bless our, please bless this food to our bodies in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, made Caesar, man, it's really good. I'm glad you enjoy it. This week, I am personally guiding a good friend on a hunt for a trophy mule deer. Little bucks, little, yeah, tiny buck. Yeah. Well, this weather will throw them off a little bit as it, because it's been so hot, and all of a sudden yeah. it cooled down and foggy and overcast, which is the greatest thing we can have. Yeah. You would think this would turn them on a little bit. The next couple of days are going to be a little bit cooler. <laughs> just one doe. One doe. That I can see. I think we'll wrap around. We'll just keep going and see if we can out. find something here. Yeah, They've been hanging out up in the trees here the last few days. So we'll find them. Sounds good. There's another one, another doe right at the edge of the barn. Yeah. Four. Here he comes, here he comes up. Oh, man. Just behind that scrub book. We wanted to this morning just test our skills. And I guess we're not as stealthy as we thought we were. I guess we lost that one. I believe in you. Let's do this. We'll come up here. Let's be as realistic as can be. Okay? Don't rush it. You rushed it. That's that, because that, you're that was cuz I tapped you. Yep. Which is good that we're doing this. Okay? A little low, but that would work. Let's do one more. Bring it up just about 6 inches. Perfect. Okay? little back but that's great when I tap you that second time take your time and just put it right follow on through Boom, follow through yeah follow through. Mm -hmm. check out that track that's a monster oh, we can. that's a big guy we're gonna work our way down to the bottom here drop all our stuff off get situated Colorado has an estimated deer population of over 450,000, and this state has produced more record mule deer than any other. These deer are very social species and typically stay in big groups for protection from predators. Bachelor groups of mature bucks will run together, and it is amazing to now see so many different groups here on the ranch. When my family first purchased the ranch in 1995, the deer numbers were extremely low, so we refrained from hunting deer for over a decade. Through management, predator control, forest projects, and patience, the Hartice Ranch has become a mecca for mule deer. about joining us for a world-class hunt and adventure, visit HarticeRanch.com.
By only hunting the most mature bucks and only using archery equipment, we have created a very safe place for these mule deer populations to flourish. There is no easy time to hunt these western big game animals and using archery equipment makes the task of successful harvest even harder. There's a bigger one in the front. Crawl up, crawl up to that scrub oak. thousand yards and we got into 45 but that was <clears throat> crazy intense and you know what I mean I you li you lifted your head right as you shot you, oh, you peaked and that's what threw that arrow just right over his back it's okay that's why it's called hunting not the grocery store <laughs> yeah, that's, a heck of a that's a heck of a buck yeah, good buck maybe bomb around this evening look for deer and if we hear an elk, we'll go after it. Just bear with me. Bust butt to get up to this top, and it's going to be cruising from there, okay? Sounds good. Let's yep. go. starting to come off that high country so it's a good thing yeah you can hear them every day is going to just continually get better but uh see if we can find a big buck this morning what do you say yeah let's do it he's a big yeah, one that's amazing that's exciting let's get a little yeah. bit closer and they are working their way they're, across. they're gonna come across yeah they definitely are right, let's see what you can do 
What's happening, Ku? Hey, Gooch. So what happened is we're, uh, this morning we went on the horse pasture here, right at shooting light, and we had bulls bugling and cow calling and everything going on, and then a cow called a few times and hit the little bugle. And he didn't like that. He wanted to come over and take some cows for me, so he came right over. And, <laughs> I said, keep the wind on your left cheek, and that bull came in and tried to get wind on him. And he stopped like 25 yards away from him and started raking his horns. Oh my gosh. Shot and boom, and I hit him with the cow call. So he ran and he ran to his right, circled back around, and buckled down. Congrats. Gee, awesome. we're sitting out here, we're watching 14 bucks and some toads right now. One of the best parts of guiding this time of year is being able to see other hunters have success. In this case, we were able to watch another hunter fill his tag from down below. A good reminder of how quickly things can come together. And he thought that, uh, he thought it was on too. He didn't know any different. He was, he was coming to steal a cow. That's it, that's it. So awesome, so proud of you. Let's get it done. It's your turn. We wanted to see what blood my turn. looked like. Yeah. And now we're ready. <laughs> That's what a hit looks like. That's what it looks like. That was a great hunt. My golly, that was cool watching that from, yeah. from a long ways away. They got her done. It's our turn now. Let's go find ourselves yeah. some animals. Let's get it done. There's at least, at least one over here. I can't see him though. Yeah, let's let them go bad. We'll leave them alone because they're not burned up at all. We'll just go back up here on that road, kind of walk towards that Buck Central and see if anything's moving in there. We're just gonna get out of here. That was a fun morning. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good job. We're going good. That's good. First time you saw him was on camera yesterday. No, first time I saw him was yesterday morning with the in person. In person. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So you did see him in person. Yeah, me and Joe both saw him. Wow. This is the one we let feed in. Yep. After we had the encounter with the two other wolves. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's excellent. This is, uh, the side. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Great. Yeah, that's so we that's him right that there. Before. Well, that's amazing. That's him chasing that other bull off. Excellent. That sounds like a deal to me. Right. I'll take that deal. <laughs> Let's do it. I want to basically be able to get it out of the target, so I'm going at that thing. <laughs> Let's do the Glendale. Let's do that deer. 30. <laughs> Good shot. Good shot. 
my man. Get off your phone. There's a deer. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. He's there with me. I'm thinking we might get down around this bend and it starts sucking down. So you're ready. And I'm just going to back off here a little bit. Hopefully he'll come right up this draw. We'll give him Give an opening. Wait, 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 wait. Let down, let down. It's not a good angle. No, I'm not gonna not shoot. A good angle. I'm not gonna shoot. Just wait. No. Wait, wait, wait. Meh. Wait. No for us. Wait. Wait. Do not shoot him walking. Meh. Meh. Can I get to that tree to get the huh? 40? Huh? Can I get to that tree? Yeah. yeah, you. Whacked him! Got him! Got him! Keep on, keep on, keep on. You just smashed him! 50, yeah, 50 yards. yards. Good job. That was awesome. Wow, redemption. That's the buck we, we went after the first day. Yeah, wow. That's unbelievable. And we're coming off the mountain, hitting in the middle of a bunch of elk, and the wind was bad. And come down with the buggy, jumped off the buggy, made a little pursuit on him, and you just pinwheeled that deer. That arrow stayed in him. So let's get up here and let's just see if we can follow that down. We should be able to find him. That was a tough shot, bro. There's the other one. That's the other one. That's the, the smaller one. I don't know. He was somewhere in here. Right here. Right here. Look at him running 100 mile an hour. And look how much blood still is. That's what's so impressive. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, wow. Blood here. There. We have learned so much about these deer over the years and have grown to now have access to over 40,000 acres of private land hunting. With so much ground, we now can hunt these deer with any method of take. It's by hard work that we have been able to grow a deer population to healthy numbers for world-class trophy hunting. And this guy comes up and gives you a shot at what, 50 yards? 50 yards, 51. Amazing. How do you feel? I feel redeemed because I felt like a failure for the longest time and then today after mm. I wasn't paying attention in the stand. But, but um, thanks for working with me on the shots. I think it really helped out. And the key is just falling through. Mm -hmm. That felt yeah, really man, good. Felt I'm proud really of good. you. Thank you so much. I'm proud of you. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank the Hotage Ranch. Absolutely. Love this place. That Glendale, which is a little smaller than this deer, you were plugging that thing and in turn you built the confidence and I was in your ear direct saying, you know what, bro? Focus, do not, do not peek. But this is, uh, this is what I come out here for, right here. There's a lot of action.